Hi everyone, my name is Celia Hamilton. I'm the Strategic Planning Manager for the Social Biz User Group. Thanks for listening to this interview. Today I'm talking to Lars Samuelson. Lars is a consultant at Langana Software, working with licensing and collaboration software. He's also presenting at the upcoming April Social Connections 8 conference in Boston. Hi Lars, thanks for joining. How are you? Hi, I'm good, thanks. At the upcoming Social Connections 8 conference, you're presenting a spotlight session called How Sharing Went from Something Unnecessary to the Ultimate Goal in My Work Life. Can you talk a bit about why you wanted to do this session? Yeah, the reason why I wanted to do the session in the first place was that uh, the other guys from the Social Connection team had been bugging me about doing a session. Mm. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, sure, I, I'd really like to do something I didn't know what. And then I thought that, well, I, I like talking about what I do, so I... I guess I should do it and talk about what I do. So that's basically what, what came to mind. Okay. And talk a little bit about my transformation from being an information hoarder uh, to actually wanting to share everything I do to ease both trans uh, transitions of projects and everything, everything like that, so just to, mm-hmm. to expand my, my social life a little bit from just keeping everything to myself as it was before. What is your best advice for someone who works at a company where people are, like you were just saying, they're information hoarders, they might not be in the habit of sharing knowledge? How can they get started as a social business advocate? I would suggest that the the first thing to do is talk about what you do with people. I mean, the usual water cooler stuff, just uh, Mm -hmm. standing around, you you have a coffee with someone, you talk about a little bit what you do and try to share ideas and, like, present what you are doing so someone else might get interested. Of course, mm-hmm. uh, it will be easier if you have the right tools, whatever the tools might be, uh, to to share digitally. You write a blog, you you can post like uh, like information and all that and what's happening, what products you're into and all that. But I think the first, first thing you need to do is just get your mindset into it that it's nice to share what you're doing. And, sure. I mean, brag, brag a little bit about what you do. So <laughs> you be proud of what you're doing and share with people. So sure. that will make it fun. And then, uh, then I guess uh, people, it will come quite naturally when, when they realize that it's quite fun to, to talk about what you're doing. Mm-hmm. At least that's my opinion. Yeah. Well, that sounds uh, very logical. The Social Connections Conference is in the U.S. for the first time this year. Have you been to any of the previous conferences held in Europe? Uh, yeah, I have. I've been. My first one was the Social Connections Four in wow. Amsterdam. Then I went to Number Five in Zurich, and then I was first time on the on the Social Connections team for Number Seven in Stockholm. Uh, I right. met Number Six in Prague to uh, for uh, paternity leave, but. Uh, mm-hmm. So four, four, five, and seven I've been to, uh, and now we're really looking forward to uh, to number eight as well to have it in the U.S. for the first time. Yeah, definitely. I'm excited that I, I've heard about this conference so much for the past few years that I'm excited. Also, because I live in Boston, it's very easy for me to you know go. So, yeah. um, what are you most looking forward to having the conference, uh, attending the conference this time around? I think one of the things would be to, to meet new people. I mean, it's a social conference, and we get to meet some Americans as well. I mean, it's right. been a European event mostly. I guess we have some speakers in from the U.S. as well, but uh, uh, mostly it's been uh, it's been uh, European people. And uh, just to, to meet new people in the same, same uh, like uh, what you say, the... The things we work with. I mean, uh, the right. Thing. The same people who the people who do the same things that you do just over yeah, here. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Like, meet, meet new people, uh, network and uh, socialize, yep. and just uh, do that and hear a new takes on the same problems. I guess that's uh, one thing. I mean, right. problems are usually somehow the same all around the world, but there might be different solutions to them. So true. That's that, that's one of my great things. Also, uh, I love going to the U.S., so that's one of my big, big oh, things good. myself as well. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Boston's a good place to go, too. There's a lot of American history, very easily accessible. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping to uh, get at least a few hours of touristing as well. There's, oh, good, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 you have to do a... Proud, a uh, city tour while you're it's not very big city so it's easy to see a lot of it so yeah good yeah I'm hoping to get at least at least a few hours for it sure I hope so too I hope you get to do that too um, well thank you for taking the time out of your day to answer my questions Lars I really appreciate it no problem and for our listeners you can see the session descriptions and agenda for the Social Connections Eight conference at socialconnections.info Social Connections Eight takes place April 16th to the 17th in Boston. 
Suzanne Livingston and Ed Brill will deliver the keynote sessions on what's new in social software and social business. The conference will have over 60 sessions from 57 speakers, including topics like mobile development, connect connections, external communities, case studies, and a whole lot more. You can stay up to date on the latest information by following the conference on Twitter at SOCCNX. Thanks.